That's exactly right. Anybody, I could show you a good driver. Just put them in there. If you fared that traffic on the, it's the 10 out here, Tony, not a 10 highway, it's the 10. That traffic five wide, just like they're here on this racetrack, you're going to see it on these restarts all day long. Five wide, salute to the fans. As we get ready here in Fontana, California, that's the all new Toyota Camry TRD leading the field. No better display than to show those five lanes of this racetrack than that right there. It can be done, they are there, and they will be using every one of those lanes today. I think it's cool that NASCAR's helped do this and celebrate with the fans like this, other than just our normal procedure and too wide, to be able to show appreciation to the fans for all these years of coming to California Speedway. Get these fans excited, we're excited in the booth. I know the drivers are excited to be in these cars. They're real excited to see what this racetrack's gonna hold. Oh, packed house. Awesome to see the one last go at this place. It is packed house. Everybody's here to see this race go down, and I think we have an action-packed race. I'm telling you, those big-name drivers you heard me talk about coming from the back, uh, it, that's the way it was won you know, last year with Kyle Larson. I think it's all over the place, anybody's game. Pace car heads for pit road, and the field addresses itself to the start line. 200 laps, 400 miles. Ready? Green flag. You can come with you. Watch your top. One back. And be top of three. Well, that didn't take long for three no. wide at the start of this. <laughs> right. So much for taking it easy. Look how dirty it is. Wow. Jockeying for position back there. That's what's cool about this place. Right off the bat, you see the uh, confidence they have in their cars. They felt it on the pre-race. Kyle Busch clear down on the bottom. They are all over this racetrack. Slipping and sliding, trying to figure it out. Ricky Stenhouse goes from the front row. He's in trouble. Four wide and at least two places in the, in the field, the first half of the field. Christopher Bell, Alex Bowman for the lead. That's what's going to be so exciting about this first stage of this race is watching these drivers figure out in such a short amount of time, what's their balance? What's their car doing? Is it hitting the ground? It's not hitting the ground. Is it tight, loose? Can I move around? Can I make it better? That's the stuff that's going to be fun to watch right out of the gate here. Boy, they change it all. That's yeah. that's coil ignition car. Whoa, Whoa. Brad Keselowski. And that puts us under the trick. second caution of the day at lap 42. It's running the 13th at that time. That thing slid forever. <laughs> On those seams. All right, Kozlowski outside of Corey LaJoy and just a little bit of contact. He got some help. You saw Corey LaJoy get loose and his wheels went right. It tells me he got loose, had to chase the car up the track right in the quarter panel. Doink right there. Yeah. That's all it takes. That's how uneasy these cars are. You're just barely walking that, that razor's edge. Lean on it the least little bit. Away she went. Second caution flag of the day, and it comes with 23 laps to go in stage one. Cody Ware will get the free pass. Actually, you can see the flames come out of the headers there. Corey did lift. It wasn't like he just stayed in the gas and drove in there. That's not what he wanted to do, obviously, but he did get out of the gas to try to, try to help avoid the contact didn't work. Kozlowski gets a push to restart and we'll head back for pit road. So we've had a bird strike on uh, this shows you how much camp. debris out on this racetrack. Riding to Kevin Harvick. Man, you've seen the front of the, you heard me talk about how sandblasted the front of these cars look. Windshields, obviously the camera's the same way. Taking a beating out here. One last time. All right, final lap of stage one. Looking from Christopher Bell who is back in 24th. Ross Chastain is going to bring him to the line. Artie's going to be out of toys here soon, boys. That's, <laughs> there's, there's two down. Brian Blaney, half a second back, trying to close the gap. Ross Chastain won stage two at Daytona, and he's going to pick up his second stage win of the season right here. From Blaney, Suarez, Bowman, and Hamlin, Byron, Logano, Harvick, Truex, and Elliott score stage points.
Exactly. But he had to try. I mean, you got to know, or you try these things early in the race to see what you can and can't get away with. Caution. AJ Allmendinger. Ooh, into the wall. Hard. Allmendinger was 16th. He brings out the fourth caution at lap 76. So it's about 50 degrees in those grandstands. What's it like in the race car? Comfortable. <laughs> really? Yeah, because you're building body heat. I mean, you're you're warm inside the car. The heat's radiating up through the floor. It's it's creating heat inside. Ooh. That all started with a 47. Got like a 47 checked up, stacked them all up. They hit the brakes. Accordion, A.J. Allmendinger was in the bad end of the stick on that one. Wow. Hard hit. 47 clear up right here has to check and then they start stacking up behind him Blaney into LaJoy into him turns him around they're all going for the same real estate right. at the same time LaJoy has to make a correction here to the He's, inside and that well, just, clapped. That, yep. just clips AJ in the right front and sends him Blaney came down a little bit LaJoy had to come down a lot and Almondinger was the innocent victim exactly Brad Keselowski will get back on the lead lap with the free pass here. No matter that run, they're going to continue to work in that direction, though. Whoa, top of your screen on the right. Byron and Chastain nearly got together before the start-finish line as they blasted out of their pit stalls. Truex, major damage on yeah. Truex back here. They did get hit. You saw him right there. He actually beat him out. I think that may have been a two-tire stop on them. He was a car. Didn't make out what he said. Well, I think he thought it was on fire, so he was trying to stop, and then they called him on around. Ah, uh, maybe it is. Yeah. That's going to be the longest two miles you can drive right there to get Martin Truex Jr. back to the pits. We're under caution. Beautiful day in Fontana, but here's the problem with Martin Truex as he almost came to a halt leaving pit road thought he could make it all the way around that tire and wheel that wheel did not agree that is going to be a track on track penalty for Truex Logano and Hamlin on the front row Chastain and Byron Gregson on older tires with Kyle Busch here we go oh boy and around goes Ty Dillon. Dillon a bunch of them Christopher Bell Blaney Al Marola is around Priest is in it Busher misses it. So does J.J. Yaley. Kyle Larson, a lot of damage. Hard on the brakes, Cody Ware and Austin Dillon. I think Bell's got the worst damage for sure. Reddick down here stuck in the grass. Amarola stuck in the grass. I can't, still can't see the right side. 42 calls that. Remember the 42 on older tires, Noah Gregson. We'll have to go back and see what happened here, but there are several cars piled up now they're all stacked up right oh boy both lanes too all over the place this takes me back to the rule that they they've changed this rule the restart they've added length to the restart zone and what does that do Tony it gives you a chance as a leader to do a different thing to differentiate yourself and juke them out if you will of when you take off that stacks the competition up behind you or it can let's ride with Christopher Bell three two one Checking up, checking up, checking up. Just a big check up there, and I mean, you hear him saying checking up, but I mean, it literally got checked up. Wow. And he's sitting there going, What did I do to deserve that? Nice look from our uh, Toyota onboard cam. And here's Chase Briscoe. The Ford camera and the driver's eye view. And Almirola really climbed up the left he's front. Back up, 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 Chris up. Bell, he's up, way up, up, up right here. That's a big one. Didn't see that coming, Tony. And the white flag waves. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. It's official. Get this thing back around there. Credit One. What? Which one? What? Who did I pick, Tony? Who? Who did I? Well, who picked first? <laughs> He is the chosen one that always gets picked first. That Richard, man, I'm telling you right now, he ain't taking his eyes off this thing. 
He don't count them chickens till they hatch. Chase Briscoe just ahead, 20 cars on the lead lap. And Kyle Busch could pretty much coast at home from here. What may be the final super speedway NASCAR race ever in Southern California. RCR, baby. Goes to Kyle Busch. That's right. How about your RCR and everybody? Yeah, Kyle Busch, oh. unbelievable. Randall Burnett, them girls right there, there. Everybody's on end. It's a big win. Huge win. Richard Childress Racing and Chevrolet. 61st career win for Kyle Busch. Ninth on the all-time win list. And he now, by himself, holds the record for consecutive cup seasons with a victory. 19. This competition didn't want to see this team show this early. Just like you no. said, Tony, I'm not talking. Everybody's going to be looking over their shoulders. They mean business this year. Didn't take long, did it? No, it, it, we've said it before. This kid, when he gets on a hot streak, it, it lasts a while. It's not just one and done.